Hey guys, welcome back to Obi Outdoors. Well, uh, I'm pretty excited about today. We've got some awesome, awesome weather forecasted today. Light and variable wind and uh, you know, highs at 22, 23. So it's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful day on the water. Another good thing about today is I got the sled hooked up on the back. If you guys were following around on the Facebook page, you saw I got the sled rolling yesterday. Uh, so this is gonna be its maiden voyage and we're gonna cover a ton of ground. Hopefully uh, finding one of those active schools out on the lake today. Uh, kind of bittersweet day today because uh, we got the Packer game and uh, well instead of uh, sitting at home in my nice recliner I'm going to be uh, listening to it on the uh, on the radio so hopefully you got to give a little to get a little and uh, I guess uh, time will tell so stay tuned we're gonna be hooked up shortly Ourselves our first uh, keeper eye. That is a decent crappie right there. I'll definitely be marking this one now as a success. A nice thing about using this setup, the way you have it, the auger on the back, you know, not in the sled, you can drill your hole and not have to worry about getting so many chips inside the sled without taking your cover off. So take a peek. There you go, auger's ready for the next spot. All right guys, well I got 2.4 miles already on the sled. I have not marked one fish in any of the spots that I've been at so far. Granted, I've been, you know, trying with a few oddball spots, but uh, you know, I gotta see where the fish are, especially after this Arctic freeze that we had here the last week. And uh, we're gonna keep putting in the work until I at least mark one fish. That mighty whitey made the mistake. Hooked him right on the bottom of the lip. We're gonna keep that one for supper because I'm keeping some white bass today. And I was just tying on a number five wrap. Had a few chase it, but none committed. And I looked back down at the screen and I saw something come through. So I think that was the uh, maker jumping from the three to the five. So we're gonna jig this while and see if uh, that does a trick. Let's see what we got. Another mighty whitey. There's another one down there. This is why I keep two poles because when you get a school like this that comes in, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes you can get a couple fish at once. Oh, there's one right on it right now. Let's see if he, oh, he doesn't want it. Go back down, try to come back up. Oh, he's back, he's back. Look at that. Oh no, I lost it, hooked on the ice. down there too. No. Another nice one. Now once I get a little break here of action, I'm going to tie on at number, another number five on my other pole. 
so I can just throw that fish like you saw in that first fish and just throw the fish that's hooked over there, grab the pole right away and drop back down. If you catch them on that feeding frenzy, that is what you want to do because if you can keep them, if you can keep them on the feeding frenzy, they're just going to keep snapping and snapping and that frenzy is going to attract more fish in the area to join the school. Oh, that was a big white bass. No, I'm just not getting good hook sets. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bend these hooks out a little bit more on this wrap so that they're easier to grab here. This is a brand new wrap. I didn't. I just literally took it out of the box a little bit ago. See, I open that gap on there and the hookup a little better. Let's see if we can't get another one on there. We're on a decent bite right now. Still got fish down at the bottom. I mean, it's not constant, but this has all been in a matter of about 15 minutes. Another nice fish. Look at that. That's a little one. We're going to let that one go. Let's see. Well, he didn't want to go back down, but sorry, buddy. You're going to have to sit out for a few seconds while I get down here and try to catch your mama. You really don't want to go back down, do you? Well, I got a fish on it. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> I gotta somehow figure out how to get a TV in here. I've got one in my permanent shack, a little 12 volt one, but uh, a little bit too big to hang in here. See, I was looking up on Amazon. There are a few little TVs because, hey, the weather's good, the fish are biting. I'm gonna be out fishing, hacker game or not. Radio, uh, I guess, works a little while, but I like to see what's going on too. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, oh, I tail hooked him. Oh, <laughs> Walter. Now, I'm going to show you this. Now, I'm not going to say where it's hooked, but pretty darn close to the vent. It's a nice walleye right there. He came up and was just messing around. This is what you call a foul hook fish. It's small fish anyways, but uh, you will let these go. Um, sorry, buddy. I mean to do that. Not a bad fish, small one, but uh, also foul hook. So down the pipe he goes. It's, there's about a handful of people that uh, are constantly very active on the page. Liking the pictures, sharing the pictures. I love it when you guys share, because the more you share, the more the OB Outdoors name gets out. And uh, I'm gonna be sending a message to the guy that uh, is constantly, always active on there. He uh, messaged me, said that uh, his wife and him were coming out today, and um, I told him I'd let him know if I got on a decent school. And while this is not a completely crazy school, it's a decent school, and uh, I'm going to shoot him a Facebook message and let him know where I'm at. If you guys want to be involved in that, jump onto the old uh, Facebook page, facebook.com slash Outdoors, like you guys are seeing there, and uh, like the page, be active on it, and if you are, You'll get some uh, under the table fishing tips from me. I'm gonna say this is a nice guy, and it is. Look at that. All right. He came down about two feet underneath the ice. Nice eye, perfect eating size. This is the perfect eating size that I like to keep. You know, I'd like to throw back the little ones, as you saw, the one that was followed hooked there, had a nicer one on uh, at the hole that I lost, I'm not sure if that was on film or not, but this one is a perfect eating size. You know, I like to throw back those big pug and pigs like you guys saw uh, last week. If you haven't yet, check it out on the YouTube page, you can see that thing. That was quite the pig. This one's going to go in the frying pan, and hopefully, we'll get a few more.
you hit that one on the fall. Oh, do I got myself a nice little mess here. <laughs> right there. Drop him back down the drink, see if we got some more down there. One of the biggest questions I get asked is what kind of line I use. And uh, this is all fluorocarbon. I'm a firm believer in fluorocarbon um, all the way through uh, to open water. Open water fishing, I have fluorocarbon leaders on, and ice fishing, my rods are strung with full fluorocarbon. Um, the thing you need to watch out for, you need to keep an eye out for, is for when um, you know, you're getting these fish and they're circling up like white bass do quite a bit. They're going right around the bottom portion of that hole. All right, and that's like you know thousands of tiny, tiny little razor blades rubbing on that line. And after a while, your line's gonna get chewed up and ultimately snap. So you know, halfway through your trip or a couple times throughout your trip, just double check and feel that, feel that line and make sure it's nice and smooth. If you feel anything rough on it, make sure to cut off and retie. Nice white bass again here. I don't see another one down. Oh, he just smoked that. That hole number five was almost in his mouth. There's another one for the for the pan. Little tip I'm going to give you is, you know, right now it's beautiful outside. All right, it's like 25 degrees. All right, there's hardly any wind, if any wind. Um, but I'm fishing in the shack because if I was fishing outside and people were seeing all these fish being caught, they'd be coming in, drilling a bunch of holes. You know around me and scaring the schools of fish away that uh, we've had coming through there so I like to fish with the top up you know obviously I give you my honest reports on the internet and you know sometimes I even you know publish uh, <laughs> you know the GPS coordinates of where I'm fishing oh oh geez <laughs> swing and a miss on that one um, but uh, the problem about it is you know there's there's a lot of people out here that you know oh Bass. we'll just look for others on the ice and whatnot and you know I don't mind fishing with people I usually have an extra hole outside in case someone shows up but you know once you get you know 10 15 20 people running augers at once and now vehicles driving you know it's it's gonna create a bunch of noise on the water which is definitely not gonna be uh, suitable for a uh, fishing environment so if you do have a shack you know highly suggest you pop it up if you're fishing Drinking cold pop. Oh, he came off. <laughs> that one just came up and smoked it. Oh, I knew that one was going to smoke it. Oh, he's got me all tangled up. He wanted that chicken wrap, let me tell you. Dink eye. Got another one down there. Oh, he's down to pipe. <laughs> if you guys want to know how I target the Lake Winnebago system, jump onto my website, obeoutdoors.com, and underneath the articles tab, you're going to find my latest uh, published article in Badger Sports and Magazine. And uh, that article talks about a bunch of different hard water tactics just for the Lake Winnebago system. So you're going to get uh, some little details on how I pick spots, how I move you know, uh, equipment that I'm using and whatnot. So I think you get a, oh, just came out of nowhere and smoked it. Big ol' way. I think you'll get a lot of good information out of it. Um, because if you're not able to find these fish, I'm gonna show you how in that article. If you've never heard of Badger Sportsman Magazine, it's a pretty cool magazine based right out of Oshkosh, all right? Um, and uh, you're going to get a ton of good information specifically on Lake Winnebago system and other area um, lakes and bodies of water and whatnot. Um, and they also move uh, from season to season on the topics they cover. Um, so if you're a big hunter or whatever, they'll, uh, they'll definitely cover that. So uh, if you've never heard of them, check them out, badgersportsman.com. Oh, <laughs> I missed that one though. Tiny little yellow bass. I don't know if the light's good, but it's got a tiny little yellow hue on the sides. 
Well, a little bit of everything today, including a big one down on the bottom. Let's see what we got. Just non-stop action. God, it's so hard to leave. I'm not even keeping them anymore. Half of them I'm not even getting on film anymore because I got so much footage. <laughs> the sun is going down. I heard a few augers start behind me. It's a little one. I'm just catching them, throwing them right back down the hole. There's nothing else I can do. All right, guys. Well, both of my cameras are dead. All right, I pulled out the older one here that you guys are watching now. I still have a ton of fish on the flasher. All right, I've got over 160 clips of fish being caught. It's insane. It's insane. I mean, this one is snugging right up on it. Oh, he's an active white bass right here. I'll tell you that. But, uh, you know, mobility is such a key out here. All right, we had the sled today, so we were able to move around, you know, and definitely, uh, you know, put a ton of fish on the ice once we found them. Um, you guys aren't going to see all those clips, though. You know, I don't want you staring at your computer screen for a half hour. But, uh, you know, if you like what you saw, click that subscribe button that's on the top of your page there. And, uh, you know, get notified anytime I upload a fishing video or info segment such as it. Oh! Such as this. Oh, that's a big whitey right there. Holy cow. I mean, fish after fish after fish. Just insane. Just insane. All right, so if you guys like what you saw, click that subscribe button. It's on the top of your page, or follow me around on Facebook, facebook.com slash obioutdoors. I mean, this is just insane. It's why you keep moving, because you're catching tons of fish, and it's so much fun. You know, I've got so many fish already in the bucket. You know, I kept about a half a bucket full, um, which is going to keep me busy for the rest of the night. But uh, we're going to let some of these fish go and <laughs> have, a, have a great, great rest of the day, let me tell you. Cameras are dead. This one's still going, so you're not going to see any more until, or if, I get a big poignant pig. So I guess until next time, tight lines, stay dry.